Hi, I want to welcome you to my first tutorial. Today I want to talk with you about the fighting stand. The stands I recommend is similar to the stances in boxing or kickboxing. So your legs are shoulder width apart. One leg is slightly in front, the other is slightly behind. The, the rear leg is the leg where you have your strong arm, where you throw your punches on this side. So if you're right-handed, usually your right side is with the back side or the rear side. And if you're left-handed, you do it the other way around. As I said, one leg in front, the other behind. 45 degree angle to the direct connection to the center line to our opponent from belly button to belly button. Shoulders up, hands up, one hand close, close to the chin, the rear hand, the other slightly in front, able to block, to throw chaps. Your weight is on the balls of the feet, the heel can, can, can leave the ground, it's not so important to stay, to stay very, very flat, it's okay when you're on the, on the balls of your feet, balancing your weight. Want to be light footed, so you can quickly shift our weight forth and back. That allows us to be very dynamic to go in and out, yeah, to move very quickly on our feet. What I want to say in addition is that we do not stick so much to this boxing position. Since in boxing we are usually very close to our opponent, but in a real fighting situation the distance might vary. Also, when the enemy is further away, the angle to the direct connection can be steeper. This is very similar to the Qi Kune Do principle of Bruce Lee. He was also always standing a lot more sideways, so when he's checked, like in fencing or his sidekick. This I also recommend in a way, but you have to pay attention to your front knee that could be injured when, when you're standing like this and you get a side kick from here it's not that good for you therefore in kickboxing people stand, are standing more turned inwards the groin are exposed but these are things we have to deal with there is nothing like perfection there's always advantages and disadvantages so I hope you got some kind of impression and how I imagine you to, to get, go into your ready position. So, if you start doing your ninja way, if you start doing your thing, if it comes to it, then this should be your ready position. And you should be there within, you know, there's the noise, there is the danger, there is something that awakens you and then you're there. And that's your basic fighting stance. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would be very happy if you could give me a thumb up. Also, when you subscribe to my channel, stay awake and always one step ahead. Thanks for watching.